He caught up with our showbiz editor, Nelson Aspen. There is, I would say, a kind of narrative. There's a kind of narrative arc. There's a shape to the show. There's a beginning and a middle and an end that you don't normally get in a concert. You are remarkably ageless. I don't know what you're moisturizing with, but keep it up. It's <laughs> phenomenal. I loved the fact that it was only going to be good if you really believed all the relationships and that we were really like kind of, I don't know, feeling like we played a couple that really knew themselves and each other before we put them into this sort of like chaotic family home experience where they like, you know, obviously are up against some like typical rom-com hijinks. We recognize the importance of a story in which um, the center of a holiday movie is um, this gay couple, which usually gay couples in holiday movies are tangential characters. So this was um, important, important to all of us. And um, it was just literally start to finish every single second a joy. I've dreamed of playing a role like this in a film like this. I've worked with Gary before. We have an incredible rapport. I mean, he's he's funny and, and, and really present and very professional and and kind and you know, 2020 is a very tough year for most people, but 2020 for you is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's definitely been a, a whirlwind. Um, yeah, it's been quite. It's been the. It's been the biggest year of growth for me. And we have this impression that you just kind of breeze in, do your voiceover, you know, and, and go home and wait for the check. Nelson, <laughs> I gotta tell you, you're absolutely right. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. I knew you it. breeze in, you you have a great time. They call you a couple months later. You come back in. They're there day in and day out, like labor intensively animating all of this and piecing it all together. But for me, it is like the dreamiest, breeziest, loveliest experience <laughs> to go in and play and have fun. And then you're like, bye, guys. Good luck with all that stuff you've got to do. Ryan says the new Croods movie comes at the perfect time for audiences of all ages. One thing that we're a little starved of in 2020 is joy. You know, there hasn't been a ton of just unabashed joy. Now, Nelson, earlier this morning, you told us about a weekend you spent at Princess Margaret's house. We've been sweating on this story for a while now. Can you share some more details? Well, it's, it's rather blue, so I'll, I'll tell you what I can tell oh, you. I had, what? as a young man, oh, early better. 90s, oh. I was commissioned to, to train Princess Diana in step aerobics, so I went to London, was appearing on the British morning show where I met the editor of the book The Joy of Sex, who invited me to this weekend <laughs> at Princess Margaret's house in Gloucestershire. Princess Margaret was not in attendance. I want to make that very clear. There's my disclaimer. But my first Halloween costume was a Wicked Witch, age three. We've got, you know, we've got the picture. So, did you are, have any are witch? Are you going to run the picture when this comes I, out? Pretty please. Well, <laughs> sure, Anne. This is me, and she can reciprocate with this childhood memory shared on her personal Instagram page. I just remember we had a rainbow clown wig and somehow that made it into my witch costume. So clearly I can't, I've never, I've never played a literal witch. I always have to throw an element of comedy in there. It's lovely to have coffee with Anne Hathaway in the morning. Lovely to have, you know what? Good to see you. Cheers, my dear.